What is going on guys? Foxtrot Delta here. We are on lesson five. Now I'm going to keep it nice and short on the intro today. We're going to be uh, doing some takeoff. Uh, I'll learn how to do takeoff. So without any further ado, let's get to it. In this lesson, we're going to slip those surly bonds of Earth and take our rightful place in the air where we belong. In other words, takeoffs. We're here in the Cessna 172 SP at the hold short line of runway 19 at Bremerton National Airport in Bremerton, Washington. We aren't going anywhere just yet, so relax just a second. Takeoffs are easy, and it's great to get airborne. There's not much to it. As you probably remember, all you had to do is set full power and steer down the center of the runway. When you get enough speed, simply raise the nose a bit and the airplane will take off. All we're doing here is accelerating to a sufficient speed so that the wings can generate the lift necessary to keep us in the air. We do, however, want to make sure of a couple things first. The most important thing to remember is that we always take off into the wind when possible. By pointing into the wind, we start with a little air blowing over our wings to begin with. This means that we'll be able to reach our minimum liftoff speed of 55 knots sooner and become airborne sooner. In the process, we'll use less runway during the takeoff roll. Today, we have calm winds, so takeoff direction isn't an issue. Check the final approach path for airplanes. Use the hat switch or make sure your num lock light is on and press the number 4 key on the numeric keypad. Then check the runway for airplanes by using the hat switch or the number 6 key. If the final approach path is clear, we can taxi onto the runway. As soon as we taxi onto the actual runway surface, that runway belongs to us and no one else should be using it. As soon as we taxi onto the actual runway surface, move the stick all the way to the right, or if you have a joystick you can twist, twist it all the way to the right to line yourself up with it. Then return the stick to the center once you're pointed the right way and come to a stop by using the period key or the trigger on the joystick. Don't spend too much time taxiing around trying to be exact about it. Otherwise, you'll use that precious runway. And one of the most useless things in aviation is the runway that's behind you. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, Captain, let's do the before takeoff checklist. Cabin doors and windows closed and locked. Flight controls free and correct. Fuel selector both. Mixture full rich. Elevator trim at takeoff setting. Before takeoff checklist is now complete. Of course, in a real airplane, we take a lot more time to complete this, but now it's time to fly. Take a deep breath, let it out, and apply full power with the throttle or by pressing F4. Check the airspeed indicator. When it reaches 55 knots, gently ease back on the joystick to establish a climb attitude. This is called rotation and has nothing to do with the airplane's tires. Look at the attitude indicator. Make sure the little orange dot is on the second line in the blue part. This gives you the approximate attitude necessary for takeoff. Keep it there until the airspeed reaches 75 knots. As soon as it does, increase the climb attitude a little further until you're about 12 and a half degrees nose up pitch, which is between the second and third lines. Adjust the pitch up or down slightly as necessary to maintain 75 knots during the initial part of the climb. Pull back on the stick.
speed up. Okay, although I try never to say that's about all there is to it, well, that's about all there is to it. Of course, there's a lot more to it than that. You'll need to worry about crosswind takeoffs, traffic patterns, air traffic control, other airplanes, and a hundred other things. But now you understand some of the most important aspects of the takeoff. You can end this lesson by pressing the escape key or you can rerun it by pressing the control and semicolon keys. As with all things in aviation, the best advice I can give you regarding takeoffs is practice, practice, practice. All right, guys, I guess that's it. That was a uh, really short flight. All right. So, guys, don't forget to check out the description, foxtrotdeltausn.com. Um, like I said, this HOTUS, if you guys are wanting to use this HOTUS, it's really cheap. I know it looks old. I promise you they still sell them brand new. Uh, they work amazingly for Microsoft Flight Sim. Like I said, they're only like 40 bucks. It's on foxtrotdeltausn.com uh, under my gear. Um, other than that, guys, I'm going to let the outro take it. Uh, be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. Hugs and shit. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. After you have done that check out foxtrotdeltausn.com you can check out all the awesome offers from our partners. You can join the Patreon and see videos up to 7 days before they're released on YouTube. But wait, there's more, the merch store has something for everyone. Well I think that was long enough of an ad. See you in the next one.